Hello, everybody. Uh, this should take just a short time to go over this overview. It's Lab 3 for 1407, uh, Evolutionary History. Go to the second slide here. At the bottom, it tells you today's lab will focus on two important concepts of evolutionary history, plate tectonics and mass extinctions. Computer animations will be used to help you understand the concept of plate tectonics and continental drift. So we'll be visiting this, uh, I believe it's Chapter 25 in lecture after the exam. I'll probably even give you a homework assignment with a PBS video that I think is pretty good. The assignment itself, the, the challenge is just to pay attention so you know what event goes in what order or happened in what order. But it's a, it's a good video to watch more than once. So this will be a lot of overlap here. Now, it's divided into activities. So you can see activity one, uh, there's a video link that I give you. It has to do with understanding plate tectonics as well as a process called continental drift. I don't even have a little hand here. As well as continental drift. <laughs> Okay, and it tells you here, after reading the material and studying the maps, answer the questions. I have a lot of students that just try to throw down answers on this lab. Uh, go over the information, and this is true for all your labs or any homework, okay? You've, you've got to study everything, read it through, study it, then start answering everything. It'll ask you some questions in relation to this area. Then it'll transition to uh, plate tectonics and how that feeds into a process called continental drift. This is a figure representing continental drift. If you recall here, we talked about in biogeography at one time, it was believed all seven continents form uh, one single supercontinent called Pangaea. There are time periods that are given. You will be asked for time periods. Sometimes a time period will be just a single time period, an approximate period, such as a Permian 250 million years ago. Or they might ask you for a range, give the range. Okay, so pay close attention to the questions. I'm not looking for you to be exact as far as what answer I'm expecting, but you got to be pretty darn close, okay? Case in point, there are some questions where the answer should be roughly 20, 30 million years, and I've had students giving me 100, 120 million. That's way off, okay? So the answers are there. Some of these links, you might have a little trouble getting an animation to play, but you should be able to get it to work overall. Also, you were told to always have that backup and check out that iPad, okay? So I went over that about technology. So next one, it says it requires shockwave, but some of these, if they won't play the, the program, there's still written information you can read uh, to help you answer the question. So activity two will focus on plate tectonics. Then activity three will give you a Pangea animation. Okay, it tells you a little bit of information here, but most, if not all, these links have some written information. So even if the animation is not going to play out, you should be able to. And then some are not so much animations as in you play the play button. You gotta kinda keep clicking and watch it go. It's really going slide per slide. It just doesn't stand out. It's going slide per slide. Uh, you just gotta click and you'll see the figure change as you click on it, uh, click on the, the appropriate spot each time. Then it'll get into a Gondwana animation or Gondwana land. <clears throat> okay, so if you look here, down here's Pangea, how far back, and it talks to you how the supercontinent Pangea through a uh, that the land masses were on tectonic plates. Okay, then a process called continental drift occurred, and they believed that Pangaea, the supercontinent, separated into two smaller, but yet still you could call supercontinents. Um, Gondwana, sometimes they call it Gondwana land, I accept either way, and Laurasia. And then it shows you from there what happens, okay? Talk about Pangaea Ultimate, to, gives you some information there. Again, there's another link, even though it's not highlighted here. These links are in the lab protocol. Then it'll take you to the Cretaceous mass extinction. I was watching a, a documentary on, a, on a, I think it was a history channel or Smithsonian channel. They were talking about the KT extinction. You may have heard this. Okay, so now you know when they talk about KT extinction, what mass extinction event they're referring to. So you'll watch the video, you'll look at the links. There's two different links. Choose one of them. So notice it says go to or this one here or you can Google, go to Google uh, Hanover Park and Cretaceous. You know, these links change over time. Some of them might come inactive, some don't. So uh, I work with my lab tech, uh, Joel Bettis, to help me uh, update these links. So uh, whatchamacallit. But just one of these links, okay, make sure you can get open and help you answer these questions on the uh, Cretaceous mass extinction, come sometimes called the KT. So you're going to answer all the questions wherever there's a question uh, placed. Uh, you can insert the questions into the Word doc, or you can insert the question uh, on a separate sheet of paper. If you do it on a separate sheet of paper, though, uh, make sure that I can follow along. So let me bring up the uh, document itself. So this is a PDF document. Make sure that um, if you're going to do it on separate paper, make sure you title it so I can follow it along. Activity one, uh, preferably retype the questions. Uh, or definitely redraw the box, 
okay redraw the table you can use word just to redraw the table uh, when you fill in this table okay the information the answers you get for two you're going to take some of that to help you fill in this table as you go over it but all this falls under one video link then you're going to get the plate tectonics and it's going to ask you for definitions about different types of boundaries make sure you give me complete definitions okay it's all or none on these questions the last two questions okay overlap one talks about a boundary you have to be able to you have to understand they're only asking you about the boundary why do we call it this boundary question six is what could be the result created by that type of boundary so five and six okay uh, six feeds off of five again it'll take you through the other links here and you'll just answer the question this one here is another area plus on the first page where you're giving time periods make sure you come close um, this one's usually pretty easy these are usually pretty easy but you do have to watch the animations as well as the maps that are given in the figures to make sure you're looking at it carefully okay especially when it asks you in the end here what do you believe is going to happen to one of the two major oceans when we talk about Atlantic versus Pacific all right you got to sit there and think about it first before you try to give me an answer these questions here are pretty self-explanatory I think most of the time my students know that if they just pay attention and read the information the answers aren't too difficult however the last part here okay that falls under this last activity let me pull it back here down here okay it's going to talk about some uh, factors <clears throat> having to do with evidence okay and hypotheses and extinction and what have not uh, you've got to go through this thoroughly to figure out okay what is missing as far as lines of evidence they give you a little bit of evidence for to support the two different hypotheses okay to give you an idea of what you're going to be looking for you'll fill in the rest okay uh, pretty straightforward lab uh, been using this one for a while uh, it seems to be more interesting than some of the others but like I said it also feeds it it'll feed in some uh, to some of the lecture information that we're going to cover okay again remember I post the word doc PDF you can also type it on a separate sheet of paper but if you do make it organized make sure I know where you're at what activity what number retype the questions redraw the tables uh, also as well keep in mind you can scan uh, your answers and then upload them uh, but I have to be able to read them I'm running into problems in some of the other classes I still haven't looked at your lab twos uh, but I did look at your lab ones but I have to, it has to be readable and I should simply be able to click on your assignment and it opens up so I can grade it it's not my job to format it it's not my job to figure out how to upload it. okay uh, sorry to say that to this class because I haven't come across anybody yet uh, but I am having problems with the others okay so if you were able to complete the syllabus assignment and upload it which everybody in this class did you should know what you need to do for the lab okay all right uh, good luck with the test and uh, I'll see y'all next week that's all. Bye. Thank you.